A new stem cell trial in the United Kingdom is hoping to change the lives of people who live with a rare condition known as Hunter syndrome. Oliver Chu is a three-year-old boy from California who is the first person to receive breakthrough gene therapy treatment and has amazed doctors during his recovery. So joining us this morning is Dr. Simon Jones. He's one of the trial co-leads and a consultant in pediatric inherited metabolic diseases at St. Mary's Hospital. Great to have you join us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Let's start our conversation at what Hunter syndrome is. Can you describe it for us? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it's a Hunter syndrome is a rare genetic condition which mostly affects boys, and it uh, boys are born uh, fairly normally without any obvious problems and signs, but then progressively you get more and more damage and problems occur, uh, heart and lung. Um, uh, disease, uh, bone and joint problems, but perhaps most critically for, for many boys with Hunter syndrome, uh, they get a, like a form of childhood dementia, progressive brain disease. Uh, and the, the only available treatment is an intravenous in, injection, uh, which you have to have once a week, uh, but that doesn't treat the brain disease at all. And so that's why we were so keen to, to try a, a, new, a new approach. A devastating diagnosis, not just for the children, but for the families as well. Oliver, who we showed a picture of, and a reminder, he's just three years old, is the first of five boys that have been approved for your treatment. He started earlier this year. We started our conversation by saying doctors are amazed at his recovery. Tell us what's so fantastic about it. Yeah, so he was the first um, human being ever treated with this wow. um, therapy. So um, whilst we had planned this very carefully over 15 years, you, you never really know what's going to happen. Um, and so uh, from the really from the first moment, his new cells started appearing uh, in his blood, um, making lots and lots of his enzymes. We've been amazed by his results. But uh, we see him every three months. They come back from California to Manchester to be seen and, and he's making great developmental progress. He's talking more and more every time we see him and, he, and he's growing and, and growing up. So we're, see, we're really happy. I can tell by the genuine smile on your face that you truly are thrilled with, with how recovery is going. Before this gene therapy trial was approved, patients with Hunter syndrome had only this one option that you described. That was that long and expensive infusion treatment. How is this new trial different? So we are trying to do a one-off treatment, um, uh, and that's the aim of this sort of stem cell gene therapy. So we, we take out some of his blood stem cells and send them to a laboratory, and they add in the missing gene to his blood stem cells, uh, and then we give uh, Ollie a bone marrow transplant, but instead of someone else's blood he gets, it's his own, but corrected. Uh, and our hope is that his blood uh, will, for the rest of his life, make uh, large amounts of that enzyme, the drug, if you like, that his body needs and it's missing. Um, and so it should provide that for the rest of his life. It's incredible when we are showing those pictures of Oliver. He's just a little guy. I mean, he probably doesn't know any life that's different outside of hospitals and yourself. Uh, but what is going on inside his body and what it means for his future is just truly incredible. Uh, what's needed, doctor, to expand your trial? Uh, so we have enough um, funding uh, to treat five boys, as you said. Um, this was originally funded by a drug company, um, but developed in our university here in Manchester. Um, the drug company unfortunately pulled out after a few weeks of our trial opening, and so we've had to rely on charities and, and money from, from anywhere we could get it to keep this going. So we um, uh, desperately need uh, another pharmaceutical company, another pharmacy company to come in and, and try and um, provide funding to take this forward because uh, if the results with Ollie are anything to go by, we hope this will be a really promising treatment. Just a personal question for you, Doctor. You know, you said you've been working on this. You're one of the co-leads for 15 years. You're <laughs> watching how it's transpiring in the body of young uh, Oliver. What is that like for you? Uh, I mean, it, it's terrifying initially because, you know, you you practice uh, again and again to make sure that you this is, you know, that you're as sure as you can that this is going to go right. But there's no, there's no, um, uh, it, you know, you have to try it in, a human at some point and so uh, and we don't want to do harm of course and so uh, yeah this is very nerve-wracking times but uh, we're, we're very happy at this point. Dr. Simon Jones colleague of the Hunter syndrome trial in the United Kingdom great to be talking about a good news story in medicine thank you for joining us. <laughs> yeah finally thank you.